Welcome back to La Hoosie Jinx. We have a new La Hoosie Jinx. We're talking Canada soccer and U.S. soccer. And today we're going to be talking about, believe it or not, it's been a year anniversary already, a year for this channel since it's been established. It was established June 2nd of last year, 2021. And we're already at a year, and I, I can't even believe it. And, yeah, I just want to basically talk about, you know, how much I appreciate all you guys supporting the channel as well as a year, we'll do even a year review is talk about all the successes of both the U.S. and Canada men's and women's national teams as, man, it was a year. You know, marking this channel has started, today starts a new year, but I do want to talk about the year in review, 2021 to 2022. And, um, yeah, we've got a lot to talk about. And for me, I mean, this already, I mean, this year, the amount of progress this channel has made, as it, it means a lot to me. And I, I can't even say it. I can't even speak it because it's, I'm just so blown away by the amount of support. I mean, the channel, for quick statistics, um, just over 17K views on total videos. Um, nearly 150 subs. By the way, we're two away from 150. So you get me to two today, and I could be very well do a sub special uh, very, very soon. Um, as well as even 172 videos produced. So that's a lot of videos for one year. And... You guys really gave me a lot to talk about. I enjoyed a lot of the discussions in the comments, you know, as well as even, um, and I know sometimes it was a little toxic, but hey, I mean, with that sports, you're going to have some toxic people. You're going to have, you know, a lot of, a lot of talking, but hey, it's, I, I like discussions and I encourage that as long as we just respect everybody's decision or everybody's opinions. I'm all cool with that, but yeah, I mean, it's. More videos also to come too, including I was on BCR who formerly also requested another video not too long ago. Also gave me another video request I'm going to be doing. It's about another player for Canada, so stick tuned for that. But as well as even more upcoming friendlies for both the Canada and USA. And yeah, it's just, and as I said, I know 150 subs or near that as well as even the, the current statistics I just listed off may seem negligible, but to me... Um, it means a lot. It honestly means a lot, and I'm, and I'm serious. I mean, honestly, after a year, I did not expect this to become this much progress. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more like um, 25, 50, um, around 45 or so subs, but 150 or nearly that. I mean, that's that's a big deal for me, especially for someone who never really thought about recording themselves, you know, making videos on it and you know, talk about games and all that, you know, I just, you know, want to watch everybody else. By the way, few channels who inspire me, Ryan, Ryan Anderson, um, lo love his content over there. Scotian Canadian, by the way, who actually commented on my first ever reaction video against the USA versus Honduras and actually gave me some tips and his comment is still there. So you can go see that if you go all the way to the beginning, which was the second ever video, I believe, after the first one was an introduction. But... Scotian Canadian, unfortunately, though, recently announced that his channel will be, he is done with YouTube because he's reached a point where he just can't do it anymore, and sad to see him go, but he was really one of my idols, so there's four more idols, um, so I said Ryan Anderson, Scotian Canadian, Mr. and Mrs. Toronto sports fan, love their content over there, they talk about with Raptors, hockey, you know, the Toronto Maple Leafs, unfortunately, yet again, bombed, but it is what it is, TFC as well. Um, love talking about when they talk about TFC especially. Um, and then last and definitely not least, Steve Dangle. I mean, can't forget about him. Arguably the icon of the Toronto Maple Leafs in terms of reaction. And he was also one of the people that just inspired me to make content about this. Because his passion, everybody else's passion, I just listed off too. They all have passion for sports. And I had a passion for soccer. So I figured that I wanted to react to it and... Yeah, you know, I really, really, that's what kept me up all night. So, like, um, back on June 2nd or June 1st, technically, last year, quick story, you know, I was just thinking, you know, and I couldn't go to sleep that night because, I mean, the Nations League was right around the corner, too, for the USA, and it was the semifinal. So they had two big games coming up, potentially. Turned out they won the whole thing, but it was that game before they played Honduras. It was after they played Switzerland and lost. You know, I was thinking, I said, you know what? You know, I'm thinking about just making a channel where I just react to games and all kind of other, you know, Canada, U.S. soccer content, given that I'm a dual national of both countries. 
And, you know, I feel not only obligated to talk about both teams, but I just enjoy both teams as, you know, I just love, you know, not only love the sport, but I just love supporting both teams and the amount of progress, especially they've made in their youth academies. And it means a lot. But um, especially, you know, someone who's in university right now, 150 subs, all the stats, that's big to me. You know, someone who really doesn't have a lot of time or makes the best of their time when they can to squeak out videos for you guys. And appreciate once, guys, for those who've been there, those who've been patient. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Hopefully things will continue to, uh, you know, be manageable. But, yeah, I mean, considering someone who never really, A, considered making a channel or talking about their passion as much as the sport, if for both countries, and B, someone who's also in university, so they've got more on their plate than managing something besides YouTube, it means a lot. And 150 in the first year alone, that's big to me. I mean, no matter what anybody else says, that's, I take that, that's big in an accomplishment. But, yeah, I was just going back to that short story, you know, on the morning of June 2nd, you know, I was just laying in, I could not sleep. I was divided on whether I should make a channel and not reacting to content on Canada U.S. soccer. And lo and behold, here we are. So, you know, I actually got up that morning and I was like, you know, and that's when I made that first introduction, introductory video, as well as even um, invited a few friends and caught out. You know, that's when I reached out to Ryan Anderson, a Scotian Canadian and even Toronto sports fan especially, and said, hey, you guys inspired me to do this and here we are. And all three of them did respond and they said, thank you for, you know, us, us, us having your idols or us being your idols. And, and yeah, I mean, they also, I think all three of them subbed back and I think they've been following the content as well. So that really says a lot too, you know, given how three of my idols, of course, Steve Dangle has his own and he's way popular. So that's not happening that he's going to follow me back, but still appreciate him too. All my idols, all my idols, everyone I looked up to, you know, get really just giving me encouragement and all that to do this, you know, and, um, yeah, it's just, I just can't believe it. I mean, a year ago that this channel started, you know, and once again, you know, I just wanted to, you know, make this channel and it turned out to also be a marquee year for both, you know, the USA and Mexico, I mean, USA, Canada, you know, and shortly after on June 6th, USA won the Nations League, um, and then, you know, beating Mexico in a tournament for the first time in a while. And then Canada also, um, you know, they, they came on the run too, but USA also winning the Gold Cup. Canada came on a historical run, all, only losing to Mexico in the semifinals, and that was a close game. 2-1, Mexico scored at the last second. It was a hard break for Canada. But the USA team, whatever you call that team, A team, I mean, B team, C team, D team, whatever team you can call that, letter, mark, um, they got it done. They beat Mexico. And, yeah, once again, it was another tournament where they beat them in a Gold Cup in that same summer. So that really said a lot. And um, and then shortly after or before that, um, the Summer Olympics, Canada won gold. And the, the women's team won gold. And, you know, U.S. got bronze as well. But Canada coming up, you know, big. They won the Olympics. They beat the U.S. And they also beat Sweden and other teams. So... It said a lot, and it was really, really, that at that time, it was a summer of success. The U.S. men's won both their domestic tournaments or regional tournaments. Um, the Canadian men's as well progressing a lot, as we're going to see, you know, I'm going to talk about later on. Um, and the women's, of course, winning their Olympics, getting gold. That It was a summer of success, and I just couldn't be happy as both, you know, for both countries, you know, it was a really, really highlight moment for the channel, especially, and it's like, what a way to start off the channel as well as even that summer, and, I mean, the channel was all definitely off to a high, especially those three, after those three successes, you know, and then after that summer, so in August or so, I finally upgraded my camera quality to, you know, offer HD versions, the vids, you know, and also, we can't talk about, I mean, we can't forget about the historic run that Canada did, I mean, they had to go through so many hurdles that summer, um, they had to play all these island teams in stage one of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers because the Nations League, uh, they didn't get that far to the U.S. Um, despite beating them in 2019, but they beat the mess out of all the teams in, in the stage one of their campaign. And then stage two, um, playing against Suriname, you know, or Haiti in a playoff match, 
Um, they they survived that one and ended up winning big against Haiti four to one or four zero. And then they went to stage three, which we're going to talk about now. World Cup qualifiers for both the U.S. and Canada. U.S. and Canada when they played each other, they tied each other one one. It was a phenomenal game to watch. I mean, and then of course Canada beating the USA in Hamilton two zero. You know, getting kind of payback or not really payback, but USA. Um, once again, failing to win in Canada, but despite, I mean, despite their both teams going at each other, it was a really, really up and down roller coaster ride for both Canada and the USA in the World Cup qualifying. Canada ended up qualifying for the World Cup for the first time in 36 years, 1986, and it was much needed. This country needed it, and then the U.S. getting redeem, getting redemption for 2018, missing out on that. You also needed that too, given how much outrage and everything that was over there, and how much cries for into cries for uh, young talent there was needed over there. So they also had a big moment. I was just happy for both teams. You know, I also went to my first live in person soccer matches, um, and it turned out to be three Canada men's national team World Cup qualifiers, including the last one that was at there was historic against Jamaica, where they actually did qualify, um, and that was. Phenomenal watch you guys and saw the hopefully you guys saw those videos for that um, They ended up breaking 1.4 K around that video views um, as well as even the short goal I recorded on live for um, one of the players and yeah, those videos I mean it all seemed like a, quite a few people like that so by the way I'm, I am going to Canadian women's national team friendly against South Korea here in Toronto um, starting June 25th I'll be going that, and I'll, it, depending on, um, hopefully I have enough storage on my phone. I'm still on limited storage, unfortunately. It's time to get a new phone anyway, but hopefully I can get some recording clips on that and just hopefully record that experience as well. So, yeah, and um, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that those live clips of the game. So, yeah, and we also had a few, you know, player commits for both teams. Um, Year-round, I was doing videos on those. EK Ubo for Canada. Um, a lot more for USA that I just, there's a lot, same for Canada too. Um, there are lots of sub-special videos that I just ended up talking about different topics. I think I did every 25 or beginning off I did every, I did 10, then went to 25 and then I went to 50. So that, after that I started doing every 25, but lots of sub-special moments and topics for me to talk about. And I hope you guys enjoyed those if you found those interesting, if you followed that. But, I mean, yeah, potentially we can have another one in a few days, depending on, you know, if you guys help me out. But I just can't believe it. I mean, just once again, thanks to everyone who supported this channel. As this year, the last year was a massive success for not only the channel, in my eyes, but for U.S. and Canada soccer in general. I mean, as I said, all their accomplishments for both teams, you know, as well as this channel, I mean, it's... For me, just given how, you know, I'm also managing university and other stuff as well, you know, when I can produce content, I mean, I'm just glad that you guys like it or support it, and it just means a lot. And hopefully you guys continue to do so, and as well as hopefully this next year will continue to be uh, an even better year, hopefully, you know, with the World Cup. And hopefully that will be phenomenal. I mean, everybody's looking for the World Cup in Qatar. That's this November. As well, but before that, we got a few other games. So we got Nations League. More World Cup preps, you know, I just did my Morocco USA reaction video and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a good game yesterday night to watch. Um, go check that out if you're interested in that, if you're especially for Canada, if it's in, since Morocco's in your group. But, um, yeah, I just can't wait to see what this next year brings, including how both teams perform in the World Cup, as I already said. So, But with that, I mean, I just can't thank you guys enough for how much support you guys have given this channel. I mean, whether it be through just watching or listening to, I mean, you don't even have to technically watch, you can just listen to the video, you know, as a tree as a podcast, if you want, as, I mean, other than the graphics, I mean, if you're interested in looking at stats and all the other stuff that pops up on screen, then yeah, I mean, you can watch, but theoretically, I mean, if you watch or listen, no matter how much you support the video, um, it means a lot, and hopefully this channel will continue to grow, um, we make more progress, and as the year goes on, things get better, so... That's pretty much all I can say is this, I can't thank you guys enough for I can't repeat myself, so <laughs> it just means a lot. But with that, I think that's everything I have to say, and um, 
yeah, more videos to come. We got friendlies coming up. We've got, uh, you know, BCR recommended a new video, so I'll be doing a, maybe a video on that very very soon. New player for Canada, so if you're a Canada fan, eyes out for that. Stay tuned. But that's pretty much all I gotta say. So if you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. You know, also tell your friends to hit the bell notification. You know, if you're interested in hearing any other videos or knowing when any of the other videos uploaded or posted, as well as even saying, you know, even even recommending this channel to your, any of your friends who might like this. You know, if you know any other friends who might like enjoy hearing more content about USA or Canada soccer, reach out to them. You know, it really means a lot to me. If, you know, if you can do so, if I can expand an audience, even though I enjoy doing, you know, small audience, big audience, I enjoy doing this because I have a passion for it. So either way, it's just enjoyable. So if you guys enjoy this, you know, hope you guys like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Very, very successful year one, and hopefully year two will be better.